Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for August 17th, 2022. Well, my goodness, those bulls continued to push yesterday, pushing, pushing, pushing to the upside. But now we are starting to show maybe that we may have flown just a little bit too close to the sun looking at the futures this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, yesterday we continued to stretch and stretch and stretch to the upside. If we take a look at the SPY, I think the effort was to get the SPY up to its 200-day moving average. And we ran up there pretty hard, ran right up there, kissed that 200-day moving average. And then we quickly backed away from that on the intraday chart. As you can see, this is a 15-minute chart. Quickly backed away from it, but then we rallied right into the end of the day trying to cut take some of it back, but we may have flown just a little bit too close to the sun when it comes to um, some of these resistance levels in the chart. So a um, little bit of pullback may be happening here this morning. Let's take a look at the diamonds. I have to continue to say though, that although we are extremely extended in the short term, this is, you know, if you pull this chart back and look at this, there's pretty, much no way to not see that as a parabolic move and we see that on all of the indexes it is an extremely extended position and as we push through this resistance level in the chart well that's where we may have just kind of over over done it here for the short term now that doesn't mean we necessarily just collapse or fall apart at all as a matter of fact what it may just mean is we consolidate we could just rest right in this area here in the chart before we continue higher however there is that possibility that we could move back into some 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 support areas of the chart um, so watch for that possibility now i'm not going to say that it's going to happen today um, um, as a matter of fact there's enough inspiration maybe in the earnings and economic reports to keep this bullish move going but what i will point out here is if we look at a weekly chart if you look right here we're pressing into that 50 day moving average on the weekly chart and that's a pretty substantial resistance area now you will keep in mind if i pull this back to 2008 we did a very similar move here where we extended a rally um, up extremely in, in a bear market and we did um, hold there for a while i want you to notice that we have um, several weekly candles up here about four weeks that we held in that area so it is certainly possible that we could just rest and bounce around consolidate in this area so watch that carefully if we do happen to pull back you want to start looking for some of those support areas in the chart to maybe catch us there and hold us in that support um, let's take a look remember guys it it's always a good thing to see a stock break through a resistance level but then we need proof that it can hold it as support so if we were to reverse and fail right here push back down into this trend then that support gives up and that's where we run into that little bit of a technical problem on the chart if we take a look at our spy um, spy as i mentioned touching its 200 day moving average reversing from that a little bit a little bit of bearishness coming in this morning as you can see in the market once again if i were to pull this chart back and we kind of look at this chart that's pretty darn parabolic in that move to the upside so a little rest a little consolidation shouldn't be all that big of surprise here if we consolidate here we're in great shape if we pull back and hold this support area right in here we're still in great shape um, so just watch carefully if we were to fail some of these levels in here though that's where the problem um, could come into play 
If we take a look at our QQQ, very similar situation here on our NASDAQ. One of the things that will be bugging the NASDAQ here maybe a little bit more today is that our bond yields continue to rise sharply. As a matter of fact, last time we saw our bond yields uh, as high as they are right now, the NASDAQ was down here. So you'll want to um, watch that closely um, as we've pressed up toward these resistance levels. Look for a little rest and pullback. There shouldn't be a problem with that. Again, we're pretty darn parabolic in that upside move if you take a look at it. And a little rest or pullback shouldn't be out of the question, but watch that closely if we really start to break some of these support levels in the chart. That's where trouble could really start to come into play. And if we take a look at our Russell, our IWM, IWM has been soaring here, pushing up into a major resistance area of the chart. So keep an eye on that. Once again, very parabolic in that short term move. I mean, just extreme um, in that overextended condition. So watch that resistance level in the chart and look for that possibility of maybe a little consolidation, a little pullback um, in that um, chart. If we take a look at our VIX, um, better type it correctly. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX did not make a new low yesterday, which was just another one of those little bit of hints that maybe the bulls are running out of energy here just a little bit, may need to take a little bit of a breather and rest just a little bit. But we're certainly in a bullish trend, and there's nothing in this chart that suggests anything differently than that. As you can take a look, um, there's our resistance above that we'll want to be watching in the chart, and we're definitely down here in this area where you just kind of have to admit when we have an eight and a half percent inflation rate and a Fed still raising rates um, that we may be getting just a little bit on the complacent side here. So we'll watch that carefully. If we do begin to spike back up, watch some of these resistance levels in the chart. Let's see if those bulls will defend those areas. Then let's take a look at our VIX, or excuse me, our T2122. Our T2122 indicator you know, it's been a long time. I've seen this before, but it's been a long time since I have seen T2122 pegged and going absolutely sideways on the roof here in that chart. So we've really extended this move uh, dramatically and we should be expecting. Um, I, know, I know there's a lot of folks that just want to see the market race all the way to the top. Um, right back to the top. But I got to tell you, with the economic indicators out there and the slowing global economy, just seems like that might be a little bit too soon for that move. So we should be looking for that little rest uh, consolidation or even that pullback in the market. And like I said, there's never been a time when T2122 stayed up here forever. So we do need that rest or pullback to even provide more opportunity for an upside move. So watch carefully for that. And if we take a look at our T2107, now T2107 is a percentage of stocks above their 200 day moving average. Again, we've stretched this thing really, really hard. The good news is that we broke this downtrend. And if we can hold some of these support levels, if we can rest or pull back and hold some of these support levels in the chart, then that makes for a bullish pattern in the charts and we could still move on higher in the market. So we need that little bit of rest to provide us that opportunity for buying again. If you take a look at our T20, 2108, very similar situation, but really reach an extended condition. If you'll notice, there has only been three times in recent history, 2019, 2020, and right over here in 2020 or near 2021, when we have reached this kind of level with um, the stocks above the 40 day moving average. So again, this is showing kind of that extreme extension here in the market. So we can't rule out the possibility of a little pull pullback, but also keep in mind, it doesn't necessarily mean we have to. We've seen us move that extreme level even higher, and we could certainly do that here still, but watch carefully. I think we're getting closer and closer and closer to a pullback or a consolidation in the market. So just watch carefully for that. 
And then if we take a look at our T2101, interestingly enough, our T2101, we had, we had a little bit better volume in the diamonds yesterday, but the other indexes suffered. So once again, I don't think we're getting the best information here uh, for more momentum. When we look at those charts, and you can see right in here, diamonds had a really good day yesterday. A lot of um, rushing in on diamonds happened yesterday. But if we look at the SPY, if we look at the QQQ, if we look at the IWM, we had lower than normal volume there. And so just a little bit of concern still that we've rallied so strongly on such low volume that um, if those bears were to come in, uh, they could punish pretty heavily. So just make sure you're not chasing stocks um, into this move. Um, we are well extended, and if you chase into that, um, you could run that risk of being the last one in the door, and the last one in the door is the one that gets punished the most on a pullback. Let's take a look um, at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar, um, we've got a few things here that could move us around pretty substantially. We've got retail sales this morning. Right now, they're expecting retail sales to only have grown by 0.1%. We'll see if that comes in. There's been a lot of speculation that uh, Amazon Prime may have perked that up a little bit. So watch carefully there um, on that. Um, we've got um, Fed speaker um, in here. She'll be speaking twice today. Um, later on this afternoon, well, we get those business inventories. And that one could be important because we've been seeing those inventories increase. And you heard Walmart talk a lot about their, you know, one of the reasons their sales are so strong right now is because they're selling things at losses uh, to clear out that inventory of um, out of date and um, close to expiring food products so they're trying to get rid of all of that and we're seeing those inventories really beginning to build in other places and there may be some clues to that problem if we look at that Empire State over here that came in so bearishly um, I'm sorry you can't see that that Empire State over here that came in so bearish showing that there may be that demand destruction really starting to step up here. So if we begin to see that demand destruction um, in the market, we might start to see these inventories clear out, but that doesn't bode well for a whole lot of business out there as well. Now, keep in mind, we've got that petroleum status. We'll wanna keep an eye on that. A 20 year bond auction that may be really interesting today because we're seeing those bond uh, yields spiking up again and then we've got an FOMC minutes um, where we're likely to hear that the FOMC is just um, on task and they're going to continue to raise rates even though there seems to be an amazing um, group of folks out there thinking that the Fed is going to pull back on that eight and a half percent inflation rate does not suggest a pullback and we're still seeing global um, in indicators. Um, um, the UK came out with 10.1% inflation based on food and energy. And I suspect um, with the recent government spending bills going out, we could actually see our inflation spike back up. So watch those numbers closely and just remember that Fed um, is going to be on task on that. So don't get too carried away thinking they're not going to do anything. Then as you plan forward, you might want to be thinking about these jobless claims. They've been creeping up. We've got the Philly Fed and we've got um, existing home sales on Thursday. So those are market moving events to plan for as well. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we're really starting to decline in the number of earnings, but we have several notables this morning. We've got Lowe's that have already reported here this morning. They reported a mix. They, they beat on the top line, missed on revenues. Um, so keep an eye on that. We're gonna hear from Target this morning. So keep an eye on this. Looks like Target may have um, disappointed here just a little bit um, this morning. So watch that one closely. Um, we have um, Cisco. Cisco will be reporting this afternoon. That'll be one of the notables for the afternoon. We've got some Krispy Kreme um, that will be out there reporting. Oof. 
uh, Krispy Kreme showing some pain here in the market. And um, we will hear from um, TJ, TJ Maxx. So it uh, looks like TJ Maxx um, having a little bit of a problem here this morning as well. So um, keep an eye on some of these. If you want to catch the full list of notables, guys, just click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list of notables. Now, a couple things you might want to be thinking about um, for uh, today. Um, let's take a look at some of those stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I know with a daily video, it gets kind of monotonous. Um, those folks that are watching, um, um, putting those videos, uh, I mean, um, writing those comments on the videos, but thank you for those who do, because it does take an awful lot of effort uh, to prepare these videos, put them out every day. So thank you for that kind support. I really, really appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up for today. But remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here. Um, I think we might be reaching that, um, extreme extended condition where a pullback could occur. And unfortunately, when we over stretch like we have sometimes those pullbacks can be pretty swift and a little bit painful so um, be careful with chasing into the market today um, watch these um, stocks very closely now some ideas that you may want to consider uh, for the market if you do believe the markets are overextended you might want to take a look if you're an option trader take a look at the opportunity and may, maybe some bear call credit spreads Get yourself some bear call credit spreads up above here, and then we get that resting consolidation and nice little profit uh, trade on those positions. So look for some of those really extended conditions in the market, things that may be pressing those levels, and look for some of those ways that you might be able to capitalize on a little bit of a pullback in the market. Once again, I am not suggesting that we collapse. I'm just suggesting that we either go through a longer consolidation or a little bit more of a pullback in the market. So think about maybe um, taking some profits on those trades that you're very, very um, po uh, positive. Um, remember, uh, that money is never ours until we take it. So remember to take some profits when we're pressing resistance levels and showing some of these areas. Now, I'm again, we could find enough inspiration to continue to push on through. We've seen the market just ignore bad data and continue to push up. But with that in mind, you also want to remember the last one in the door gets hurt the worst. So be kind of careful there. And so let's take a look at a few other areas in the market. Boy, I got to tell you, uh, pretty interesting how we're continuing to see these food stocks um, running to the upside. Take a look at PepsiCo. Now we broke this major resistance in the chart. Now this is a pretty steep trend for, for PepsiCo. But this major break of that resistance in here would suggest that a rest or pullback, you can see we're getting a little bit of bearishness here this morning with the futures, but a little bit of rest or pullback would set up that next opportunity to maybe move on higher. So keep an eye on those PepsiCo um, um, looking really good. Coca-Cola looking good pushing to the upside. And, and, and I think we're developing a theme here in these defensive sector um, um, dividend paying um, reasonably dividend high or reasonably high dividend yielding stocks really seem to all of a sudden be picking up. So keep an eye on Coke. Things like KHC. KHC is one that's been struggling in here, um, but food related, pushing into some resistance, showing some upside. Um, you guys know I've been talking about Hormel. Hormel continuing to move up in this upside trend as food stocks and um, some of those consumer defensive and consumer staple stocks 
looking very, very good here in the market. You could actually take a look at like XLV, um, healthcare sector has also been pretty strong. We might be getting a, a ready for a little bit of a rest or pullback on um, XLV here, but watch that closely, breaking through some resistance um, areas in that chart. Um, healthcare overall has been holding up strong. And remember, if we do go in to um, uh, or start sliding back here in the market, um, we would normally see healthcare stay pretty strong. Let's take a look at the dollar here today. Now the dollar is gapping down and looks like we're rallying back up. This will be an interesting thing to be watching today because what we have seen is we have seen energy stocks continuing to hold up just pretty darn well considering the dollar moving back higher. If that dollar starts to slip and move down, watch for some of these energy stocks to perk back up. And I gotta tell you, um, natural gas, I'm holding UNG. As a matter of fact, I've been in UNG since back over here. Um, this thing has made me an unbelievable amount of money um, in this move. Now, I do wanna recognize that we are pressing into a big um, you know, multi-year resistance area in that chart, but if that dollar starts to slip back, you'll want to watch that closely um, here um, because we could see um, UNG continue to rise, um, breaking through. As you can see, we're trying to break through these resistance levels in the chart right now. So watch that closely on the daily. Natural gas continues to be strong. And we continue to see all of those pressure points over there in Europe and the UK where they they just don't have the energy that they need. And um, so we'll want to watch that. There's a lot of pressure here on those stocks. Take a look at um, some stocks that are coming up in tech. Take a look at Oracle. Oracle has been looking pretty darn good here. Um, notice in this chart, we're starting to break that downtrend, starting to move up here. Now, this is going to um, um, not be reporting until 9.12, so plenty of time here on this chart. And notice right in here, these nice little patterns. This is what I call a stepper, um, where we rally, we put in a consolidation step like that, and then we rally, we consolidate in a step and then we move up. Keep a close eye on that. I think Oracle's starting to look pretty good as long as the tech, if the tech sell-off that uh, may be starting today a little bit doesn't damage it too much. So with that, guys, there's a few stocks for you to look at today to put on your list. Once again, I want to caution you to be careful to, uh, to be a buyer and maybe be a little bit of a profit taker. Um, in case this does happen to be kind of the top of the market for just a little bit. Be safe, be careful, have an awesome day. I want to wish you all the best in your trading, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care, everyone.